Hi, my name's Daniel Critchley. I work in the advanced technical team at Schneider Electric and today I wish to discuss with you the different types of NSX moulded case circuit breakers. There are three major types that I will be discussing with you and I'll show you the main differences between the three types. The first device that I'm going to show you is the standalone MCCB that you can see in my hand. As you can see from this device, you have connections on both sides of the device. This is so you can allow direct connection with cables. So when you have this device in an image, we would need to see both sides of the connections to make sure that it is in fact a standalone cable in, cable out device. As for the next device I'm gonna show you, this is from our PowerPack 4 range of panel boards. So this particular cassette, as you can see from the device I'm showing you, has shear off bolts on top. So the bolts, as you can see, are neutral L1, L2, L3 in this example. This cassette itself allows you to plug onto the PowerPack 4 panel board and then shear off the bolts in order to make a connection. This is obviously different from our standalone cable in, cable out device that I've shown you previously. This means that the top connections are already took up by the cassette and you'll only physically be able to see the bottom connections. This cassette is a good way of telling you from an image that it goes into a PowerPack 4 panel board. The last of the three devices is the iLine MCCB. This specific device goes into the iLine panel board. As you can see, it has a similar type of cassette on top, but with the addition of having a fixing to allow it to fit directly into the iLine panel board. As you can see, the jaws on the device are different and you don't have the shear off bolts. Now, as you can see, this actual device has the part number located on the front of the device. This may not be always the case as labels can fall off. Now that you've seen all three devices, this will allow you to identify your devices in order to get the correct part number. Each one of these devices, although are all from the same range, do have completely different part numbers. And as you can tell, they won't all fit in the same application. Thanks for watching. Any further information, please visit the snyderelectric.co.uk website.